So my name's Jeff, um, so I work at a place called SHQ, Sexual Health Quarters. Um, so I'm an educator, uh, I've been here for about a year now. My name's Annabeth, I am the Community Awareness Officer at Headspace Fremantle. I am absolutely weirdly in love with weightlifting which is something I've only picked up in the last year. My name's Carly, um, I work for the WA AIDS Council. Um, I do youth work here. Outside of work, um, I love sports, mad keen um, triathlete. Uh, my name is Scott, I'm the sexologist here at Headspace Fremantle. I don't know, I do a little bit of everything, so I counsel, I do lecturing, um, I do a lot of volunteer work as well. My name is Colin Cross, uh, I'm from New Zealand. Um, I have three children, um, single dad, in the youth group. Um, it has been six years of study. Yeah, so four years of psychology and then two years specialising in sexology. I went to Curtin University and was doing health promotion for a couple of years. Um, during my second year I started volunteering at the WA AIDS Council and I then um, received the job um, by the end of that year. Um, yes, not too long. I was in the right place at the right time and um, had the right skills so yeah, I was very lucky. I want to work with young people because I want them to have someone when they have no one, as cheesy as that sounds. I think um, when family fails, when the system fails, the government, I guess, I guess it's good to have someone there. It doesn't necessarily have to be a youth worker, but that's the reason I got a youth worker, because uh, you know, I know it's like to be pretty isolated out there um, and have someone just to chat with and someone who genuinely wants to help is, is an awesome thing. I think they're the best. They're so much fun to talk with talking to them and getting their ideas about their lives and what's important to them and and their perspectives on what's going on in the world is so fascinating because they're still figuring it out themselves so there's this really interesting reflective um, insightful quality and they see things from a really unique perspective there's no better word for it than that the horrible face we've got woke like every young person that i speak to is just always just so woke um, and I am, I'm always learning new stuff from them, I'm getting new perspectives, I'm always so clued in. Um, all of my volunteer work, or even counselling work here, like people will correct me and introduce me to something new or give me a new perspective and, it, and it's not, it's, it's, it's free education, I don't need to be at uni anymore, so I, I, I learn from, um, from all the young people that I work. My favourite thing about the job would have to be actually being out there, talking to young people. Um, I love events, I love going to Levers, festivals, um, O days, all of that kind of stuff and just talking to young people. I also really enjoy individual um, sessions in um, youth centres, um, working with young people from challenging backgrounds. Um, working with alcohol, drugs and sexual health, I feel like it's a topic everyone is interested in and um, if there's some way I can help I um, absolutely love to um, and yeah, that's probably my favourite. favourite thing about this job would be the amount I get to meet new young people on a really regular basis. I get to go out and, and deliver these education sessions and I meet a, long, a lot of young people that um, I see a lot of bright futures in. Uh, when you get to talk about a subject like sex and sexual health, there's not many people out there that get to say that they talk about that every day. Um, so I think that's really, really interesting. I wish they knew that they really can talk to me about anything. I think a lot of people, um, particularly in like a school situation, you get a bit nervous about, you know, maybe my teacher's gonna get in trouble, maybe I'm gonna get laughed at, maybe she's gonna think I'm weird for asking it, but I really am an open book and I'm happy to talk about anything to do with health. I think some of the, the weirdest questions would have to be um, a lot around animal sex. Um, been asked how turtles have sex. If you don't know, you should probably Google it. It's really funny. Um, they make a very strange noise. So thanks to some young people that taught me uh, how that happens. I don't get too many weird questions, which you would expect in my 
area, mm -hmm. yeah, it's more just sort of like that reassurance and they think it's weird or wrong as well or they think it's a bit funny or a bit odd um, but then they chat to me and I just am like no oh, it's perfectly normal, sorry. Uh, something I wish I knew when I was 16 is um, to not take life too seriously, um, to be patient that you've got plenty of time um, and that there's people out there that are really knowledgeable and people out there that really want to help you. Uh, that the LGBTQIA community has more than just the first four letters um, and that, yeah, and then that free services exist as well, so yeah, past me would have liked to know about free stuff. Uh, <laughs> one thing, um, well it's okay to be, you know, uh, it's okay to go outside your culture outside your circle, outside of your norm or your, you know, what you're used to and just, you know, it's okay to be a little bit different, honestly.